third of all cancers are due to smoking. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine if we had a vaccine to prevent a third of all cancers. We do. And that's doing tobacco control. About two-thirds of lung cancers are diagnosed with a, a death sentence because they're late-stage disease. It costs every citizen about $20 out of their pocket for every pack of cigarettes that somebody buys because that's what it's costing us to subsidize the health care. And, you know, it's not just public insurance, but the private insurance as well. So we're fortunate enough to have, you know, private insurance. Um, but we're still paying for those costs. My vision is to apply uh, the research that I do in tobacco control uh, to try to bend down the mortality curve from tobacco-caused diseases. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of overlap between nicotine addiction and cocaine addiction and alcohol addiction and some of the other addictions you see because, you know, you go to an AA meeting, they're all smoking, right? <laughs> so I think, you know, we, we actually know where to go to get a lot of the high-risk smokers. You know, those AA smokers that are uh, puffing away, they beat their alcohol, but they don't necessarily get off of the cigarettes, and a lot of them die prematurely because of smoking. I mean, most people think a light cigarette is easier to quit. That's just not true. Uh, the filter, the only thing that it did was add a couple extra millimeters. It's made out of cellulose acetate, which is better known as photographic film. Okay. That's the same basic material. It's translucent, okay? But cigarette butts always sort of looked white because they paint them with white shoe polish. That's how they, you know, titanium dioxide is the substance that they use to paint the filters. And well, if you take a filter and you hold it under a microscope, you can see the little fibers dangling off the end. Now they spray a little plasticizer, okay, on the tip, but not enough. Because if they put enough there and you sucked, you wouldn't get anything out. So you do get some of these fibers that come right off on your tongue. When you put a filter on, you suck harder. You have to draw harder, so you draw deeper. And because the filter actually does take out the bigger blobs of tar, mm -hmm. uh, you get smaller, finer particles, which are the more dangerous particles. It also delivers, because you're sucking harder, deeper into your lungs, it delivers nicotine faster because it goes down into your lungs and gets, you know, connects with the blood and you know, it's hitting the brain about seven to 10 seconds. As I said, most people want to quit. The hard part is being able to stay off because you literally have to overcome the addiction. There's biology and there's the product. You can't change biology, but you can change the product. I don't really blame people for having gotten sort of caught into the, caught up in this, particularly smokers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a lot of compassion for smokers. They get addicted to the product. The product has a high abuse liability. This is why the companies bear the responsibility because they engineer a product to make it hard to quit. You can make cigarettes without nicotine in it. And then smokers would have a choice. And the documents from the company say very clearly, most of our, our consumers would leave us if they could. In other words, if the exit gates were to ever to open, they say that most of their smokers would leave. Well, I think people ought to have free choice. So this is about free choice, and most smokers would leave.